the gravitational constant, the gravitational constant that's in this equation right here that every grade 12 high school student should learn, they take physics, the gravitational constant is finely tuned to at least one part in 10 to the 40th power. Some say even greater. I'm going to be real conservative here. One part in 10 to the 40th power, okay? What does that mean? That's a one followed by 40 zeros. Uh, just to give you a sense of that, how big that number is, actually how small the number is, the fraction, uh, the odds of being hit by lightning are about one in a million. The odds of winning the lottery in Canada, I'm rounding up here, one in a hundred million. The odds of being struck by lightning twice are one in a trillion. And our number for the gravitational constant is with all the white zeros. Let me try and put this in perspective for you. Imagine we take the entire continent of North America and we cover it in dimes. Covered in dimes. Oh, there we go. All dimes. And then we s say, that's a lot of dimes. That is a lot of dimes. And then we stack them up to the moon. Okay? And I, I gave up here. I only did some of it. Say, that's a lot of dimes. And then we do that on a billion more continents the size of North America. Okay, now say, that's a lot of dimes. Okay. And then I paint one of the dimes red, and then I blindfold Mike and say, pick the red one out of all the dimes or you're dead. That's the chances of getting the life-permitting gravitational constant. You guys, you what? That's right, you died in the last illustration. Can you see how, actually, the chances of you picking the red dime are actually better than getting the gravitational constant one part in 10 to the 40th power. If he picked the red dime, no one in this room would say, man, you're really lucky. You'd say, Mike, you peaked. You cheated. You designed the outcome. Okay, maybe that, that uh, illustration doesn't float your boat. Here's another one. If we took a tape measure and we stretched it across the entire visible universe, okay, that's a big tape measure, across the entire visible universe, and it's in one-inch increments, and one of the inches at one point, just one, is the life-permitting inch, okay? If you go to the, which way are we going to go? If you increase the gravitational constant, just move it over one inch, the universe just collapsed on itself. Big crunch. No universe. If you take it the other way, let's make the gravitational constant a little bit weaker. Let's just move one inch the other way. Uh, then the universe blows apart. You never get galaxies and stars and planets. 